I'm here today to share an important subject with you, which we will call grounding. It's the grounding that goes on between the human being and the planet, and why it's of particular importance now. And so I'll start that by drawing a picture of the planet, and it's just simply saying the planet is an electromagnetic engine or field or earth which functions with electricity and magnetism, basically. And we live on this planet. And we, as human beings, you and I, have the same kind of a system as the planet, which is an electromagnetic system. And so we're supposed to be living together, working together, and helping one another work together. So what I'm here why I'm here specifically today is to point out that there's some things about grounding that you should be aware of. First one is the relationship, as I've pointed out to you, we're the same, we're made the same way, uh, the relationship of these energies to one another. If you're on the planet here and you have your grid lines, and they're also connecting to the planet. You are affecting the planet, or you're not affecting the planet, or the planet is affecting you, or it's not affecting you. The natural process between the human being and the planet is a cross-feeding between the two. This is the normal, healthy way for the human being. And we have some interesting developments because when we were just a few people on the earth, a few cave people around, uh, we had our cross crossing connection just like this at that time. And there were maybe a few thousand people or a few hundred people or even a million people. But today we have billions of people. And we have billions of people all over the earth. And all those billions of people are connected with this same system, connected into the planet, affecting the planet or not affecting the planet. And the objective, of course, is for the human being to harmonize and flow with the energy that's in the planet. At the present time, we have several billion people now affecting this circumstance. And what has been happening lately in the planet from information and resources that I have is that less and less people are being actually connected, you might say, to the planet. And probably to make this really stick with you so that you understand it and how important it is for the Earth to be grounding magnetic fields when a contractor builds a house, the first thing he does is drive a steel stake in the earth and he connects that stake in the earth with wires, preferably copper wires, into the house to all the grounding wires in the house. That's part of the process. I'm making that point to show you how important it is for that connection between the human being and his environment and the house and the earth. And so they feed one another, you might say cross-feed one another. At the present time, we have a lot of people that are not connected to the earth because of their way of looking at things, because of the way they live. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether you're living at 50 stories in the air in a high-rise building or you live on the ground floor. The connection is automatic if you're open to that connection. And, that, and at the present time, we have a very serious kind of situation going on. We have maybe half a billion people on the world right now that are sort of like scared. Scared, so scared that they're tense. 
they're nervous. There are many, many people because of economics today that are actually stiff and, and sort of like not connected to the planet. That stiffness shuts off that flow of electromagnetism between the human being and the earth and both suffer. The earth suffers and the person suffers. If the person suffers, that's one thing. But when you have all these millions and billions of people disconnecting from the earth, then the earth automatically reacts to that. And how the earth reacts to that is it's just like if you can imagine that you get so stiff and so frightened that you get shaky, you get nervous. That's what happens to your electric magnetic system in your body when you have fear. When you have fear, those lines sort of short circuit one another in the body and you don't have a connection down into the earth. It, and because of that, because of the situation now with economics, Around the earth, we have a billion people affecting the earth. And so right now, the earth is in that same situation where it doesn't have its communication and its grid system is not working correctly. And so the earth is beginning to go through a little shaking. And um, you can just imagine if that shaking increases, there's going to be difficulty around the earth with the earth itself. So the objective here is for you to just learn something today about grounding so that you're not the one that caused some sort of little earth tremor or something. Because actually, if, if you think about it like this, if the earth is shaking so hard like that that it can't make its connections, what's going to happen to the people that are on the earth. Any idea? Whatever your idea is, you can bet it's not going to be very, very good. So what we want to do is be connected to the earth. And so I'm going to demonstrate how you today, in this situation with economics and everything else, can ground every day and stay connected to this beautiful earth and have your health and make it work. Because if you're not wired correctly, like the house is not wired correctly, your house is going to have problems. Your physical body is going to have problems if you don't get your grounding. So let's do a little exercise so that we can actually practice grounding. I'll show you, tell you about it as we do that. So are we ready for that? <laughs> 